At 11.30 a.m., this plane carrying the casket of late Labour Minister, retired Colonel Charles Okilingola, landed at Anyeke Primary School playground. They are landing. The plane was, however, expected to land at Achaba sub-county, but quick arrangements were made for the funeral van to receive the body. In the company of government chief whip, UPDF officers and family members, the body was led to and received at Boma ground by the district speaker, Uyam. A motion to eulogize him was moved and several rules suspended to allow members pay tribute to the fallen minister. The body be received in this house for members to eulogize. Because he is an ambitious man that has never planned to fail. He's a man who has never failed to plan and has never planned to fail. As a market in my sub-county of Achaba, where the market was named after this particular name, I think it is time that we take on the issue of mental health in this country. Speaker after speaker members express bitterness in the manner in which the former army commander died. We are demanding from the government because there have been several investigations in this country. All that has happened, that has caused the life. A number of resolutions emerged and adopted by local government leaders from across the region. But I also think there should be a tangible, a tangible item that we can inclusively follow with government and make sure so that in memory of a person of the, of the character of Honorable Charles, something is done to remember him. They resolved that government gives the deceased a posthumous promotion and that a vocational institution be built and named after him among other resolutions. Colonel retired Charles Okelo Ingola Majudwogo will be remembered as a defender, will be remembered as a protector, will be remembered as a guardian, will be remembered as a watchdog, will be remembered as a soldier who stood tall during the time for peace and matters of security for Lamo, for Northern Uganda, and for Uganda. Late Macho Duogo's body was taken to his home church, St. Nathan Church of Uganda for Eritrean service, and later to his home in Echeme, where he will finally be laid to rest on Saturday. Ediolua, UBC News.